good Sunday morning from a bitterly cold Des Moines, Iowa, where tomorrow night Republican voters will finally get their say on who they want facing off against President Biden in November. Well, former President Trump, who's been dominating the race here despite visiting just 14 of the state's 99 counties, crack 50 percent. What about the race for second place? Can Nikki Haley or Ron DeSantis make a stronger than expected showing and gain momentum? We begin this morning with our new NBC News Des Moines Register Iowa poll. And I'm joined by national political correspondent Steve Kornacki to break it all down. Steve, here we go. Yeah, Kristen, and let's get right to it. The NBC News poll with the Des Moines Register, uh, they have been doing this for decades. They have one of the best polls in the business. And what do they find on the eve of these Republican caucuses? There it is, Donald Trump continuing to have an enormous lead over the Republican field. Trump at 48 percent. Nikki Haley now in second place here at 20 percent, passing Ron DeSantis, who's at 16, Vivek Ramaswamy at 8 percent. In terms of any change from our previous poll, which was done last month, you do see Trump down a tick. As we said, Haley moving there into second place, Ramaswamy up a couple points. But put this Trump lead in some perspective here. First of all, the 48 percent that he's registering here, that is the highest share for a Republican candidate in a final Des Moines Register poll ever. That surpasses the record of 43 percent from George W. Bush on the eve of the 2000 caucuses. Bush won those caucuses. Also the margin, Trump 48, Haley 20. That's a 28-point margin. That is also the biggest margin in a final register poll, also breaking a record of George W. Bush of 23 points when he won the caucuses in 2000. So that Trump lead, we haven't seen that before, but we've been seeing a lot in the polling this year. What about this question of whether you mentioned it, everybody's talking about it. Is it going to affect turnout? Could it help someone? Could it hurt someone? We don't know, but maybe this is a measure. Maybe this is a clue. We asked voters, are you extremely enthusiastic about your candidate? And again, you can see basically half of Trump supporters say extremely enthusiastic, about a quarter of DeSantis' supporters. Here's the worrying note for Nikki Haley. Fewer than 10 percent of her supporters put themselves in that category. So while she's passed DeSantis for second, are those voters who say they're going to support her right now going to turn out? That question is raised by this number. There's also just the question we've been seeing this all along. Is your mind made up? You see a majority for all candidates now, but more core locked in support for Trump than the other two. That has been a story, again, we've been seeing throughout this process. Now, take a look at the strengths here. First, that are driving Donald Trump to this big lead. You see it? It's evangelical voters. Back in 2016, they made up about two-thirds, about two out of every three votes cast in the Iowa Republican caucuses. Trump in 2016 lost evangelicals. He lost them by double digits, and he lost the state. What a turnaround in eight years. He now has an outright majority. He's nearly 30 points ahead of Ron DeSantis, who has gone hard after evangelicals with this group of voters. The rule in Iowa of late has been if you win the evangelical vote, you win the Republican caucuses. Trump is absolutely cleaning up in our poll with evangelicals. What has gotten Haley into second place? It's this group. It's independents. They're probably going to make up about 20 percent of the electorate. Haley not winning this group, but look how close she is to Trump. Haley 33, Trump 37 among independent voters. Now, uh, here is where it gets tricky for Haley, though. She's appealing to independents. And in this poll, we find that fully half Half of her support in this Iowa poll comes from either self-described independents or self-described Democrats. And it really starts to show when you ask a question like this. We asked supporters of Nikki Haley and we asked supporters of Ron DeSantis, what's your opinion of Donald Trump? And look at this, more than three out of four Haley voters have a negative view of Donald Trump. She really is consolidating the anti-Trump vote that is out there. And you wonder... Is that starting to affect this? This is the basic popularity of each candidate. Trump extremely popular. DeSantis still very popular. Haley, 48-46, favorable, unfavorable. She's become polarizing. A month ago, her favorable rating, nearly 60. Her unfavorable was 31. Favorables come crashing down. Unfavorables gone, soaring up for her. You know, it raises that question. Candidates who get associated, we've seen this with Christie, we've seen this with Pence, with anti-Trump forces, with anti-Trump voters, pro-Trump Republicans, and there are a lot of them, 
tend to turn on them. Is that maybe what we're seeing happen here with Haley supporters? And how about this for a number two? Again, among Haley supporters, now they don't like Trump in general. We asked, who would you vote for? Biden or Trump in a general election. This is Nikki Haley supporters in Iowa. 43% say they'd be with Biden, the Democrat. Basically half, a little more than half, 23% say they'd be with Donald Trump. Again, that speaks to the coalition that Haley seems to be putting together here. And then the final question, the bottom line question, this was asked at the start of the campaign here. Donald Trump, all the legal woes, all of the different trials that are going on here, asking Republicans in Iowa, is it going to hurt him in the general election? Remember, DeSantis got in this race sort of thinking Republicans would think it would. Well, here we go. Eve of the caucuses, basically three of four Iowa Republican caucus goers say, nope, he can win the race against Joe Biden. Only 23 percent say that's going to make it awfully tough for Trump. The electability argument at the beginning of this campaign, we wondered, would it hurt Trump with Republicans on the eve of the caucuses? Doesn't look like it is in Iowa, Kristen. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.